while working on this lesson was the artist named Jack Kirby. He was a comic creator and illustrator. He worked for both Marvel and DC. He had a lifelong career drawing and creating, creating comics. You all probably know Stan Lee. Well, Jack Kirby worked with him for a long time. He worked and created some of the characters that you know in the Hulk, Thor, Iron Man, uh, the X-Men, things like that. So my daughter Amelia liked this lesson and she made one too. She chose Spider-Gwen, which is one of the illustrations that you could print out on a grid so you can make your own drawing. And she was talking with me about Jack Kirby and how he is very famous for his stylized backgrounds and the way he used them for force fields and superpowers and things like that. You can look it up, they're called Jack Kirby Dots, or it's also called Kirby Crackle. So when I was talking about Jubilee, those, those dots and those shapes showing her power, that would be um, inspired by Kirby Dots or Kirby Crackle. Amelia did the spider Gwen drawing, like I told you. And um, what's great about this, Printout too is you can test colors out on it first. You can test something that you might want to do to the background. And Amelia really wanted to do Kirby dots. And in the Spider Verse movie, there are Kirby dots um, which pay homage or they honor Jack Kirby. And for each character, there were a different set of different colored dots that would um, be behind them in the movie. So she did Spider Gwen. She used a tool, that's a little circle template, to figure out where she wanted her dots to be on her um, background. You don't have to have something as fancy as this, but if comic art is something that you're really interested in, you might want to think about getting one. It's just a circle template. They're also used um, for drafting and architecture, things like that. Um, but you could use bottle caps, coins, anything to get nice, perfect circles in your background. Or if you just want to freehand it, that's fine too. So this one is Amelia's Spider Gwen. So she used those colors, the Kirby dots in the background, and she did some shading. This is a simpler choice for um, the superhero grid, but it's a really nice strong image. And if it's a character you like, of course you can use it. I'm gonna um, add a little Kirby crackle to the back of my Iron Man. And I'm gonna do a little bit of coloring in um, just so you can see that for the end of the lesson. And you can see on my Jubilee, I was testing out colors. Her glasses are pink. So I was trying to find the right pink that I wanted, yellow for her jacket. You can color these in with any supplies that you have at home, colored pencils, markers. Um, you could even do crayons and use this for your test area. It's better to learn something or make a mistake here and then go ahead and you know have that knowledge before you work on that final good paper that you spent all that work on. So let's add a little Kirby crackle or dots and some color to our superhero grid drawings. Here we go. take a look at our finished drawings and how Amelia and I both use those Kirby dots or Kirby crackle. So remember I showed you her um, spider Gwen and her using the pink and blue color palette like it was in the movie for this character and her tracing all the little circles and then coloring and then those colors and incorporating those colors into the figure too. So that's one. Here's my Jubilee. So this is kind of a combination of Kirby Crackle and Kirby Dots. And all the work was done for me because all of this was part of the drawing. So I just had to copy it in the grid. But then when I got down to it of how I wanted to render it in color, I decided to leave her glove um, white. I've seen it yellow and blue, but I thought white was nice because it really stands out. And for the Crackle and the Dots, I used two shades of blue I drew, you know, one side of the outline light blue and one side of the outline dark blue and added a bunch of dots inside and I thought that looked really kind of um, like it gave it a lot of motion and looked powerful like things were about to explode. 
Okay, so there's hers. And then for Iron Man, uh, he didn't have any Kirby Crackle or dots, so I did some in the background. And I decided to make the color of the crackle and the dots match the glow inside Iron Man's eyes. So those two powerful things are the same color. Um, and for this crackle, I have dots kind of coming outside of that power, that force field, and some inside. So there's parts where the kind of cloudy lightning area breaks up and you can still see the background. And other places where that cloudy lightning area breaks off and there are blue blobs and circles on the outside. And for this, I didn't worry about tracing those circles perfectly. I made it more kind of like lava, more organic, right? So these circles are not perfect. They're more of things that are in motion, so they would change shape. So um, remember that you can get really far from this grid drawing to a really cool final drawing. And this did take me a couple of weeks. And I didn't do it all in one sitting or even two sittings. I did the tracing of the grid here and there while I had my coffee in the morning. I colored while I was watching TV with my family. Um, so you can break it up. It's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you are up to the challenge. And I'd love to see what kind of superhero grid drawings you got to make. All right. See you soon.